everybody, I'm Carrie, and welcome back to My Table 3. Whether you're watching this on my blog today or on my YouTube channel, I just want to say welcome and I'm excited that you're here. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of things, but first I want to say this video and post is sponsored by Time and Table. They are a new company that has recently launched a very adorable kitchen line at Walmart. So your next shopping trip at Walmart, be sure you go to the houseware aisles and look for these wonderful kitchen projects that I'm going to share with you. After I share these amazing products that they sent me, I'm going to show you how I like to prepare an easy party food tray that can be found real easily. The ingredients are not hard to find, but they will make a stunning and beautiful, tasty treat at your next party or family get together. So join me as I cover these wonderful products and then I show you my favorite way to have an easy and adorable party tray for your next get together. Let's jump in and get started. Okay guys, so I am about to show you all the wonderful goodies that Time and Table sent me to try out and to share here with you guys. So, let me just start down here by saying all of their products have beautiful spring colors. So if your kitchen is needing to make over this spring and you wanna go out with those utensils that you've had for years, then this is a great reason to do so. Here's the excuse you need. Just look at all these beautiful colors, starting with these wooden spoon set. This is a three-piece set, and it comes with three different colors, which I just think are beautiful. This lovely rosy pink and navy and that, uh, I would call it aqua. So that is just so beautiful. Those wooden spoons are some of my favorites because you can use those with your stainless steel pans and your non-stick pans without um, damaging your pan. So love that about those beautiful, colorful wood spoons. Next, we have these tongs. They are made out of stainless steel and food grade silicone, which if you're uh, familiar with the kitchen gadget, silicone is really big right now, and we'll show you some more fantastic silicone uh, products from Time and Table in just a moment. They also have these two adorable, I would say spatulas or scooping spatulas um, that they sent me. This beautiful purple one says a penny, a penny for your thought, which is a play with the pasta on penny for your thought, and this lovely one here. Um, just so pretty, so decorative. These kind of gifts would make excellent gifts for any new, uh, like a new married couple, or even for your mom or aunt for Mother's Day coming up. These would make wonderful. The great thing about these is on the back of these little spatulas, there are measurements for cup, fluid ounces, tablespoon, teaspoon, and even milliliter. So not only are these pretty, but they're very practical and very helpful in the kitchen. I love that they have the wooden handle and the silicone on the top. Not only do they have all these beautiful colors, but they also have adorable mini products. Like this set here is a mini whisk and a mini tongs. And I like the fact that the tongs, you can keep them closed or just push down and open it up. I've already been using these tongs and grilling and I love them. Pull it up and it locks. And these are also that stainless steel with the food grade uh, silicone on them. Moving over to a highlight. And I know many people that have seen these products fall in love with this copper. I think they are adorable. Now these are stainless steel measuring cups and measuring spoons that are coated with this beautiful copper color. So I know if you're anything like me, you'll want to run out and get those because they are so beautiful. Moving right along to the silicone that I was telling you about earlier. It's really in style. And Time and Table has done a wonderful job in offering these beautiful bright spring-like colors in all their silicone products like this basting brush which I can't wait to use on the grill. And these measuring spoons, which are super unique. I've never seen anything like this. They are silicone. And so you have your tablespoon, and then this one is a teaspoon, and then you have a half a tablespoon and a half a teaspoon, all in one measuring spoon. So if you don't want something like this, you want a smaller compact version, these uh, flexible silicone measuring spoons are fantastic. Going back with their line of minis, they have this wonderful set that comes together. It has a spoon, which I think is super cute, a mini brush, and then these scrapulas, and this is like a spoon and a spatula together. And then I love glitter, and this one, it has that beautiful gold glitter in it with those wood handles, which are adorable, and also a silicone funnel. Another thing that my husband loves about this is they offer these silicone marble spoons. They're very heavy duty. Kind of feels like they have maybe metal inside and then they're coated with this wonderful marble uh, silicone. So these are also good for your stainless steel pans and any pan that you don't want to scrape a, a coating off of. So that's wonderful. I also got a spatula like this and I've already been using it. So it's somewhere in my cabinet. So love those. And if you guys follow my video and my food prep videos, you know lately I have been needing a new cutting board. So let's move on to the cutting boards and knives. 
that they sent. They sent me two very nice cutting boards, which I am already in love with. I've already used both of these, and the recipe I'll share in a few minutes is going to feature this larger cutting board. So I love both sizes. If you're not cutting, it, you know, a large amount of produce or meat or anything, you could use a smaller one. But the larger one seems to work out really great for me on my busy food prep days. They are this beautiful light wood grain color, but I also know they come in many more colors. So be sure and check out all their variety of colors when you go to Walmart next time, including a beautiful chevron set that I've seen for some of the other ladies. So check those out. The knives come a three pack set, a larger one all the way down to this smaller, I would call it a pair knife. Each one of them come with a sheath, which is really neat. That way you can protect yourself have you ever just reached in your uh, junky drawer to get something out and cut yourself? Well, thankfully, Time and Table thought of protecting us uh, busy, crazy-brained moms by putting these sheets on each one so we won't do that. And I'll just leave that off so you can see it. So, that three sizes, also three beautiful colors. And I have used these already, and I'll use these in a moment. They work wonderfully. And along with these uh, three Things. Another one of my favorites is this adorable Time and Table mini grater and I will use it in just a moment to show you how I grate lemon zest on my party tray I made. So that is just a quick overview of some of their products that they now have available in Walmart. By no means is this everything. They have some more products I wish I could get them all and who knows maybe I will but for the meantime I am enjoying these. I can't wait to use them all and you need to run to Walmart right now and check them out but not before you make my easy party tray next. So stick around and I'm going to show you how to make an easy tasty party tray. So next we're going to work on this easy party tray I've been talking about. Now as I told you earlier, um, or maybe I have it, but I will tell you if you're new here, I am a working mom that homeschools my nine-year-old son. But even though I stay pretty busy most of the time between working, homeschooling, and blogging, I do like to have friends over and enjoy fellowships at church and with family. So easy recipes and easy entertaining ideas are always something that I gravitate to. So using a few of these time and table products and some basic uh, ingredients. I am going to show you how I put together my uh, food tray and this is just going to be for my family to snack on throughout the week and just use as a demo purposes. But if you would like to make one for your um, party, you, there's all kinds of um, ingredients out there that you can find at your local grocery store and even Walmart when you're shopping for this time and table merchandise. But I started out with just our basic low carb ingredients because like I mentioned earlier, um, this is just for my family and we are trying to eat a low carb gluten free diet so these are from our favorites and let me just show you what some of those are. So one of our favorite things are salty and briny items and these go great on your platters. So these two olives, um, there is a green one stuffed with um, garlic but you can also get them stuffed with jalapenos and cheese. A basic yummy um, dark or black olive that is pitted. Both of these are pitted. I think it makes it easier for your guests not to have to worry about, you know, chewing on a pit if you get them pitted. So that's my tip. Some really um, cute little baby pickles just because we like the pickles. You could leave those off or exchange them maybe for another variety of olives or maybe even some of those pickled um, banana peppers. Those would be nice. So that is my salty briny. The next thing we also like to do is cheese and this one I'm going to use today is just a simple pepper jack cheese which also can be found at any uh, grocery store. I've also tried this with a fresh mozzarella and it is divine. So whatever cheese you prefer, it doesn't have to be fancy smancy, just one that you and your guests or your family would enjoy or more than one. But we tried to focus on protein so we did one block of cheese and then a variety of our cured meat. We're just going to do a basic pepperoni and uh, Italian hard salami uh, because those are some of our favorites and then this also is a bite-sized uh, spicy salami which is also one of our favorites and you could even do a summer sausage like this if you would prefer um, just whichever meat and cheese that you prefer would make a great tray so I'm going to show you how I assemble all this and let you see that it doesn't take a genius or a lot of hard to find ingredients to make a beautiful bladder for your friends and family to enjoy. So let's move over here and I'll show you that I'm going to actually use my time and table cutting board. 
So before I get started, I am going to wash my hands. So I am creating this for my family, so I'm not going to wear gloves. But if you were entertaining, I would suggest maybe wearing some food safe uh, gloves to do so. So I'll be right back after I wash my hands and I'll have everything and we'll get All started. Right. And so the first thing I'm going to do is when you make a party tray, you want to have a sturdy and stable tray or a presentation board. And so that's where my large time and table cutting board come into play. I've already used this one time for a party tray and it was amazing. It's just beautiful and it makes a great surface to lay all your different snacks on and it makes it easy to transport because it doesn't bend or flex and you don't have to worry about it uh, dropping your item. So the first thing I'm going to do using one of their um, knives here is I'm going to put the cheese in the middle because I like to start from the middle and build out. And you can cube this if you'd like, but I think I'm just going to slice it in quarter inch slices. And I won't slice it all. And again, like I said, this is just for my family, my boys and I. So I'm not using gloves, but I did wash my hands thoroughly. So if you're entertaining, I would suggest using gloves. That way you are covered. So I'm just going to do that. And I kind of fan it out a little bit because I think it's beautiful seeing all the different pepper flakes and things like that. Again, if you want to do blue cheese, that would always um, be a good contrast. So we're just going to stop there. And if you wanted to, you could have a cup or a um, serving thing clear, close by with toothpicks in it so that people can pick up each one of these. And so after I get my cheese in the middle, then I start building out. I'll start with um, some of these uh, spicy bite-sized salami. And I, when I do it, I don't really have a huge rhyme or reason. I just try and spread my colors out. So since these are a pretty red color, I would put them here and just kind of spread them out. Like I said, if you wanted to have the tooth toothpicks nearby, that would be helpful as far as um, getting the uh, cheese and meats off the tray. However, I am going to be using today, because after we film this video, I know my boys are going to want to dig in. I'm going to use some of the time and table tongs, and those work great because they're just the right size. Not too big, not too small. So we have our spicy salami there. And I think the next thing I'll do is add some of the just Italian dry salami. And I will put it, I believe, down here over the end. And I just kind of stick it out. Just fan it out so it makes a beautiful presentation and people can get it easily. It does not have to be rocket science, you guys. People are going to enjoy it however it's laid out. I just kind of like to space it out a little bit. And I think what I'll do next is some pepperoni. And since it's kind of red, I'm going to put it on this end down here. So that it is not actually I may put it in the middle here and you can just lay them um, however you want now use your favorite brands you guys and like I said the kinds of um, proteins that you like because this is absolutely personal choice uh, if you have a specific brand of these by all means grab those because we want you and your guests to uh, enjoy that so what I'm going to work next on is just our salty briny items and since these are a bright, beautiful green and a black, this will break up the monotony of these colors of our meat. So in doing so, I have these three blank spots and that's where I'm going to put my olives and my pickles. That way we have color spread out and a little bit of division amongst the proteins. So the first thing I think I will do is I will put my pickles up here in the corner. Again, it's not rocket science. I'm not a fancy chef. This is just a fast, easy, on the go, in a fly mom fix for my party tray. So there's my pickles. I think I will do, since this is a smaller space, I will do my black olives down here. Again, I just drained out the juice and I am just using these beautiful copper measuring cups from Time and Table. Just arrange them however you'd like to. And lastly, I have the large green olives in this one cup copper measuring cup that has the garlic in the middle. So, oh, them's rolling everywhere. Be careful, some may want to escape. <laughs> So we just kind of pile these up. They don't have to be perfect or again fancy. Your guests, you know, they love you, they know you, and they appreciate anything you do to go, uh, anything you do to bless them. So they're not coming to your house looking for perfection. They're just coming looking for a fellowship and to visit with you. So after I have that, I like to um, grate a little lemon zest over my cheese or and over my olives. It's totally optional. But I'm going to use this little cute, adorable time and table grater. And I'm just going to grate the lemon. I've washed this really well. And I'm just going to grate the yellow. Try not to get down to the white because that will make it bitter. 
So again, this is totally optional. I just think it makes a lovely, bright citrus flavor. Just a little pop of citrus as you take a bite of the cheese. And it kind of breaks up a little bit of the fattiness in the cheese and all these other proteins. All right, so there you have it. And like I said, you could use toothpicks or in my case, I'm gonna use these Time and Tangle mini, mini um, tongs is my brain will function. And there you have it, a simple, easy, entertaining party tray. In my case, it is low carb, keto friendly, gluten free. If you wanted to add um, a cracker or bread option, you can totally do that. You could even pull out the smaller board that Time and Table sent, or you can put like breadsticks in a um, ceramic canister here or laid out in a basket. If, so those that wanted bread and crackers can pick that up after they pick up their meat and cheese. So there you have it, you guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed me making this tray for you and enjoy the peek at those products from Time and Table. Again, thank you Time and Table for letting me be a part of your launch in Walmart and sending me all these great products. I wish you all the best because I know these are beautiful and people are gonna love them. And for my viewers, get to Walmart, check out their products. And if you've already gotten some of their products or you buy some after watching this, be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.